Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Animac here from Anime Uproar. Welcome to a new episode of the One Piece Virgin Podcast. We're going to be discussing chapters 1005 through 1008 in this episode. And joining me today, my usual co-hosts, of course, Nux and Briggs. Nux and Briggs! It's a me, Nux and Briggs. It's a me, Perigo! Oh, okay. Well, I like that. I like it a lot. I got you. I'm not going to lie. Also joining us today, my brother Gozen, the other part of Anime Uproar. What's up, Gozen? Nux and Briggs! Yo! Hell yeah. and the reason- I mean, that's your best <laughs> intro so far, Gozen. How you doing, bro? Gozen, Gozen, guys, is on our uh, Naruto version podcast, which we do every week when we're not doing the One Piece version. If you haven't checked it out already, f- already feel free to check that out. And we invited him because he actually likes Kanjuro as a villain. Kanjuro from One Piece. <laughs> and he's li- he liked the recent twist in the story. And because I feel like the three of us kind of have issues with it from what i've gathered from you guys we haven't really formally discussed it i feel like we need someone to actually be uh, a counterpoint yeah. to us i mean i, I li- still I, have I, to, I liked it i have to let it marinate too because like you can't just judge like chapters without knowing where it's going first of all but second of all i definitely did not hate it as much as what i was hearing from animac Dude, so that i hadn't read the chapter until today and animac was roasting it so hard and i read Dude, it i'm like wait what is he what was he it's like relax about? bro i know like what the fuck <laughs> It would have been exactly. way worse if Odin was actually alive. Like <laughs> exactly, like they just killed off Luffy or something. Like it's like I don't know what he's freaking out. All about. right, let's start off with one thousand and five. Let's start off from the beginning. Animac, take it away. Yeah, and before we do that though, remember to follow our Rank of Anime podcast on Spotify. That is our main podcast, and we have an exclusive deal with Spotify, and that deal helps support all of the podcasts that we do. So definitely follow us on Spotify, Rank of Fay. It means a lot to us, and of course, they give yeah. us money, and you get a bunch of anime content and that. for free because it's free. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hey. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely follow us on Spotify, bud. <laughs> oh my god, especially the Italian Canada. and Canadian accents. I love it. All right, so chapter one thousand five was focused on the whole Sanji being uh, pressured to summon Robin. And uh, this was be- by Black Maria. Black Maria was pressuring to summon, uh, pressuring him to summon Robin because Robin has been a thorn in the side of a lot of people with all her vast thorn. knowledge of secrets and stuff. So she was um, Black Maria was telling Sanji, "You mu- summon Robin here to save you so that we can trap her." And Sanji was first was like, "No, this and that," and he was taking it. And people even, even like Black Maria's henchwomen were like feeling bad for him. Wow, but look then, at this. Look at this dude. You you you're a progressive lad. You called them henchwomen. Because they were all women. It doesn't matter. <laughs> henchmen is a word. Dude, the community <laughs> blowed up and people were complaining <laughs> like like really blew up. People were complaining so much about Sanji actually calling Robin. What were your okay, thoughts? Okay, pe- people I thought it was hilarious. I just thought Sanji recognized that he will never fight women and he will be destroyed, so he just caved into his inner simp and he called robin i think yeah so the thing about sanji is he it's not that he doesn't want to fight women it seems to be that he has like a psychological block where he can't fight women so it's not that it's not that he's choosing not to he just simply cannot unless it's in like uh to defend you know someone he cares about by blocking it or something but he's not gonna hit a woman straight up and i'm guessing it comes from his childhood trauma where you know what happened to his mother and his sister being the only supportive one in his life, and all the men in his life being cruel and brutal towards him. So somewhere along the line, something snapped there, and he just cannot hurt a woman. I love I you, think Adam. Cool you have come it's... so far to understanding Sanji's character. Honestly, wow. man, like I love how they made something as annoying as Sanji bitching out constantly throughout the series. Not bitching <laughs> out, but like just not fighting back and not fighting women, which can be annoying at times. Actually good writing. Yeah. yeah, I think it's great, and it's hilarious. And people that freaked out about this, I think they got their knickers in a this twist for no thing. reason. This is the thing. As long as he's in a crew and he has people to make up for his weaknesses, it's all good. Obviously, it's not the most cool thing because, obviously, Zoro, I feel like, would have handled that in a cooler way. Luffy would have handled it in a cooler way. But Sanji is what he is, and we got to accept him for that. And where and, he does and shine 
Let, let's not does. forget. Let's not forget that Oda also turned this into brilliant co comedic timing. It was like, "Tell us where Robin is." And no, they start, like, hilarious. Slapping him around. Hilarious. And they're punching him and they're kicking him and he's like, yeah, "Whatever." And he's like, "Now what are you gonna do?" And he's just there, like breathing. Yeah. He's like, How can I get a word in? If you keep hitting me, and then everyone's like, "Oh my God, Sanji, what a Chad! He's gonna tell them to like go to hell or something." And then Sanji just says, "Robin, jump, exactly. save me!" <laughs> no, and and I love how it what it means for like him trusting Robin, Robin being needed, being useful, right? So I think Robin also is constantly looking for that life purpose. I, I also yeah, there's no like way how, Sanji uh, would have called Robin if he didn't have faith that like it exactly. wasn't just little, come like come here Robin and save me. It was like he had faith that Robin can handle it as well. You know? Exactly. He wasn't a bigger, training a big a big man to do that. Yeah, I thought it was a great a great scene actually. Mm. It was hilarious. It was Sanji's character. It was it, yeah. it was just a really good scene. A good straw hat scene in general. Yes. And I would like to point um, out one, people one of the best also, in the arc sorry, so far. One I thing, think. one thing real quick. I just want to point out cuz people in chat are also saying that Zeph raised Sanji not to touch a woman or like hit a woman, so that also True. Was It was it. it was many things many all things. put together. But um what I do have to say is if anime could see a whole group of like German women, he would say Ger women. Yes. Get it? Because he said hench men, hench women. Yeah, I, I'm surprised that that came out of his mouth. The reason but. that I said hench women is... <laughs> See, you don't understand the contextual... You don't understand the contextual reason as to why I, I don't mean it. to understand. It was hilarious. The fact that I said hench women tells the listener <laughs> that Sanji couldn't fight any of them. That was the whole point. Because they were all women. Uh... <laughs> uh... You said the hench women are women. You could have said the hench men are women for the same price. No, right. I didn't have to specify because by uh, saying hench women, it was already it was already explained within the sentence. So again, Nox, you I'm misunderstood. Sorry. As the, the nami of the group, I am putting my foot down. Let he misunderstands my perfect use of language. Let us navigate to the next conversation, please. Clear message. <laughs> All the jer women over there. <laughs> All right, and then you also had everyone <laughs> in the on the island commenting on, "Wow, Sanji's such a simp." Word for word, that's what it said in the manga. That everyone was like, "Oh my god, it's obviously such a, such a trap." It's true. That is, he's, that is what it he's said. calling for help. What a wimp! That's that's pretty much what they said. Yeah, I'm begging they were for saying help. That, but, Pathetic. That's exactly what. They but said what I that. think, what I think happened here is that Sanji obviously knew that Robin would know that this is a trap because yeah. Sanji would not do something like this. So he gave. Just by calling her, he gave Robin a heads up for what was going on. And then, from a narrative perspective, this gave Robin and Brooke a chance to shine because they haven't really been shining much lately in the story, let's be real. Lately in the story? You mean like Brooke since Brooke always shines, bro. That's true. Brooke does shine. He's a shiny boy. Literally and figuratively. And I'm not going to lie, the, the chopper shining scene in this chapter, also kind of lame. Not yeah, so then we get was this this chapter or later uh, or a different chapter? Anyway, definitely it was, during it was a later chapter where like he finalized, he was like, I could actually do something, but he was like working on it in this chapter also. Yeah, so he ended up creating the kind of antidote to that virus that was affecting everyone, turning them into into ice or whatever. And then he ended up giving uh giving it to Hyogoro just in time to save his life, uh Hyogoro the flower, and he also ended up well, uh, that's wait, oh, that's that's later still. I mean, yeah. I, I suppose. We... No, yeah, but uh, so since we're talking about Chopper, he all also right, all right. He saving... saves Hyogoro, but he, I have to he say, Hyogoro is Hold cool. Up. He ended yeah. up saving the entire floor by like launching the um, antivirus thing into uh, like mist through a cannon, and then saving everyone there, including his enemies, and that made the enemies turn to uh, the straw hats because they were like, Queen was gonna kill us. He didn't care if we died, but this guy actually saved us. So let's fight against Queen. So that was kind of, it's helping on the one hand bolster the numbers of the attackers because the good guys, because they're vastly outnumbered, kind of like the Tomoka thing. Tomoka, whatever his name is, the girl. Sure. Tama? Oh, Tama, yeah. So kind of her devil fruit is also helping to kind of uh, bolster the numbers of the good guys because they're vastly outnumbered. But I do agree with you, Nox, because you made that point that you didn't really care for Chopper shining that much. I thought that the Robin and Brooke stuff was actually good. I like to see them shine. But with Chopper, yeah, it was it was just crazy that he can 
he's such a good doctor. He can come up with this antidote on the spot under so much pressure, pressure so quickly, disperse it in missed form. Well, I'll travel. defend that. I'll like, defend bro, that. we need Chopper. No, I, right I don't now. care about that. That's and he had a badass Chopper. moment in the next chapter. Like, we what need are you Chopper about in that? our own in our own world right no, now, no, bro. Please, it's, what are you saying? Is... I didn't say anything. You're putting words into my oh, mouth I because like that, Animax I... doesn't like about Chopper. Oh, you I... said that, you said Chopper was bad. No, I said I didn't like the whole virus thingy with Chopper healing everyone because I didn't like it from Queen's perspective. I thought it was really stupid that Queen came up with this virus to hurt her own team and be like, ha ha, you fools, you will all die as well. So that when sure Chopper Queen's heals God, them. I, what did I say? Well, he's he didn't... My bad. Queen's a, the dude. He. So I'm still on the Jer women thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Sam, for the uh, gifted subs. Yeah, yeah, not that I thought you were dissing our boy Chopper. He hasn't had a good team in like 700 chapters. He is talking about he doesn't like the virus. No, part. This was, this was I'm not, dude, I'm I not think dissing it was cool. Chopper. Okay. <laughs> Let me just say, I do want to say that I liked it because it showed another straw hat being on like beyond sort of Yonko commander level, but in a different way. Right, so I like the fact that it didn't have to be a physical victory; it could be like a medical victory. But then he also gets a physical victory <laughs> that was badass. But we're going way ahead. Um, yeah, right it was medical. something at the end a of chapter victory. one thousand and five I wanted to bring up. Was... So is Kaido keeping slaves? Is that what's happening here? Where? I don't. I don't uh, recall. Well, I, I would. I wouldn't be surprised. Like he's not like the nicest, kindest ruler. No, yeah, it wouldn't shock me. If that was happening, he no, did that no, with this... his own daughter. Wait, yeah. hold on. So you're saying we should just cancel Kaido on Twitter and just end his <laughs> reign right there? Cancel Kaido, the most likable character in the world. <laughs> it's like you imagine if the, the the really interesting people on Twitter go ahead and be like, "Wow, I can't believe One Piece promotes slavery like that." <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, and the worst part is I can see it happening from people that don't even I know. It. All right. Yeah, for sure. Well, basically, like, Kaido is the hero of the story, guys. <laughs> at the, at well, the end hey, of chapter... Well, hey, if Titan promotes fascism, then One Piece promotes slavery. I agree with that statement. Yeah, I mean, true. All right. At the end of chapter 1005, Black Maria shows like a tattoo on her back and then says to Nico Robin that she's going to also... That at the end of this, you're going to belong to Master Kaido. True. Which makes it seem like Black Maria is like referring to Master Kaido with like a thing on her back, which has been a thing in One Piece. Yeah, um, for slavery. For slavery, I think uh, Kaido might have slaves. I might be, I might be well, wrong. Didn't didn't the tattoo just say something like um, "woman trouble" or something like that? Oh, well, I don't then know. Maybe yeah, I, I, I didn't read Japanese. Then so. maybe not. No, it was a little note. I think it was like a. It wasn't just like a general "you belong to Kaido" kind of tattoo. Because mm, yeah, to me, yeah. it seemed to be just like a like a tattoo in terms of the meaning. But then again, why she show it at this specific time? And I why thought it didn't was she, dude, why she did, took off her clothing? Like, like, she, she took her shirt off. Yeah, like, why didn't she, exactly why didn't she just turn around for fuck's sake? <laughs> I know she's, she's also holding yeah. a metal rod that's on fire, like as if yeah, it was really cool. As that if she could brand them. It was actually a redo of Healer reference. Uh, clearly, yeah, I thought the same thing. She has a spider lower half, and I don't like spiders, and yet I thought she was hot. Wow, One Piece taking you places you didn't. So think I, you I'm go. confused. Yes. Um, do you guys want to keep talking about this? Or can we talk about our boy Marco? Oh I, fuck! I yeah. do like I'm our down. boy Marco. Bro, down, Marco the Marco. Phoenix went against King and Queen at the same time, like an absolute boss, bro. That was crazy. Does Queen kind of suck to any of you guys, or just me? Queen I mean, is so, like, yeah, he's not... I still want to see what King has up his sleeve, but I wasn't expecting crazy things from Queen. Well, I don't think... I don't like Queen. I don't think Queen is cool or anything, but I think Queen is supposed to be strong. I mean, Queen's an unlikable villain, even for his own side. So I do have a problem sometimes with those kinds of villains because it's like... If a guy's a good villain, he'll usually know how to keep his own side happy. But Queen is just horrible at that, and he's turning everyone against them. Yeah, because his is whole the thing only, is you don't. King is the only one in the entire uh, Kaido group that's even in the least bit scary. 
<laughs> Everyone else is like such a goober. Yeah, even even Jack. <laughs> even Jack. Jack is such a goober. There hasn't been there's, there has not been a drought when it comes to L's for Jack, man. No. Well, the queen sure. uh, the queen thing is queen just doesn't care about anyone who hasn't successfully consumed the smile fruit. He just thinks they're useless now. Mm. So, you know, you know, who cares about I mean, them? it would be a good that. strategy if the, if these guys are all henchmen that don't matter. Like if you just kill off the enemy and your side, but they're all weaklings, like it does like it would be a good victory. But Chopper literally has made an antidote in the past to when you used it on like the um, at the prison and people were healed. Like Luffy's fine now and stuff. It's like, and then he's just gonna do it again, and then your side's gonna die, and then the rest's gonna be okay. Like it just, it was a, such a dumb strategy. Now, that's what. That's exactly what I was saying that I didn't like about the chopper scene. Mm. I have nothing against Chopper. He did fine. Oh, okay. Was, well, I my my was whole thing clean. was knowing everything we know now about you know viruses in the world today. I was like, really, he's gonna come up with an antidote in four minutes uh, under pressure during a battle, dude. You it's know, like Sanji with cooking. Like, what do you expect? Like, I believe this I is believe in thing. Sanji's cooking, bro. Well, this Chopper's is his... gonna be the greatest doctor in the world under the Pyre King, bro. This is his playoff series, bro. Well, it's true that Chopper is doctoring. He's been doctoring Ooh. since like yeah. Been doctoring. Wow. I'm so glad you said that. You just saved the podcast anime. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, man, this episode is going downhill until you said that. But carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and then we have a chopper. Again, I'm not going necessarily chapter by chapter because it keeps switching. But in terms of the narrative, we also have chopper going beast mode. Chopper going beast mode, um, and actually and challenging Queen after he was called uh, punching Queen dog. so hard. Queen regretted existing. Yeah, you can't let a lot of these things like take. You can't take it too seriously. It's like when. When Frankie rode his bike on Big Mom, it's like he didn't really like do a bunch of damage. But it's <laughs> fun to see them get in a good hit. Yeah, like I mean, you can get a hit in on someone, even like a, even like a you know, sneak hit. Even if they're no, I, I don't care that Chopper punched Queen. I just don't like Queen. Queen's just been pathetic. I'm sorry. No, I agree. Queen is is not. Um, not a super satisfying villain thus far. Okay, so Average Anime says in the chat that Chopper had the antidote from Queen. He stole it from Queen, but then yeah, just had he mass more. produced it. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I forgot about that. That was earlier on in the story. Oh, shit. Redeemed. Redeemed. <laughs> no, redeemed. I don't stand for it. <laughs> yeah, so the idea, um, I guess he had to make more of it, though, because they only had a limited amount, and then he had to find a way to disperse it to, like, a thousand people because they were... I don't care about Chopper them. making the antidote. I just thought it was Queen. stupid that Queen poisoned his whole army and turned them all against him. Yeah, not Big Brain. Queen's well, not Yeah, big it's brain. not Big Brain. It's kind of like when you're one of those villains who looks on everyone as an ant compared to yourself, right? It's like, all these people are dispensable. They're all useless because I'm so much greater than they are. Kind of like a superiority complex, and I think I Queen still do think Queen is better than Cracker. By the way, I'm just saying. No. Yes. Cracker is yeah. king. No, 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 no. Queen is still better than Cracker. We have to wait until we see like w what ends up happening, because you know it's not over. Queen's still gotta do some stuff. So correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember here. Did did like Marco and some of the other people underestimate Chopper, and we're like, okay, now now that you saved us, like thank you. Now we'll, we'll protect you. And then he just like goes. Raccoon You'll mode. protect me. He goes yeah, one no. raccoon mode and slaps Queen. Like I thought that was so badass. They also yeah, called like, him a calling me. He was like, "Stop calling me a raccoon dog." Yeah, I'm not a okay. raccoon dog. And then he just goes beast mode. Yeah, and everyone's like, "Oh shit!" Like we've been calling him. Yeah, they're like, "Oh okay, sorry," and yeah, they had the nice faces, right? <laughs> and that's the perfect Oda humor right there with the faces. Yeah, it was amazing. I love that moment. Finally, a yeah, good chopper great. moment. That was a good chopper moment. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, I liked the Brook and Robin moment as well. I thought it was and uh, the quite and good. the Sanji moment was good too. Fuck, Brook is just so entertaining. I, I forget exactly what he said, but even his dialogue when the, he came to save Sanji was great. And by the way, Sanji he ends up leaving. He gets rescued, so he ends up leaving that room with Black Maria, and then he starts kicking ass. Um, when the men show up. Yeah, man, the and. Chapter okay, is. now let's talk about the real protagonist of this entire story, Momonosuke. Okay. Momonosuke. Because this dude has more plot armor and luck than Luffy by far. He brought... Did you see what Yamato did? Like in his in her clothing. Yeah, like he's like, oh, come hide in my, in my shirt and just exposes her breasts. And, and then... Momonosuke's like, 
I guess. And I'm like, not lucky, motherfucker. <laughs> and then the serpent <laughs> comes out of the bag. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah bro. And, like, and it was funny. He couldn't uh, hold in the serpent, dog. <laughs> Yamato even recognized that, uh, like, wow, your power is very similar to my father's. You know? Yeah. She even then later, that. we got a reveal about that. It says that uh, Momo's smile fruit was actually created by Dr. Vegapunk personally based on Kaido's blood bloodline elements, aka lineage factor. So it seems that his dragon fruit, which so far hasn't been impressive, actually is based on Kaido's fruit. And it's considered so dangerous that the CPO guys were like, man, I'm so glad that fruit was destroyed in, in the explosion. Otherwise, we would be fucked. But we know it wasn't because of Momonosuke. Yeah, but it was set to be a failure, whatever that means. But it probably wasn't, bro. Well, I mean, it could it could have unintended side effects, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah so I always love a, a good mention of Dr. Vegapunk. And I mean, yeah, bro, like Momo with, you know, bathing with Robin and Nami and now this, like clearly has, man has more luck in plot armor than any anime protagonist I've ever seen. No, yeah, he's, I mean, the only thing is he's still young, but well, like, because definitely... he's a kid, but he's also perverted. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, <laughs> he has the mind of Jiraiya, but like the body of a kid. Well, you, you don't want to know what I was thinking back at that age, bro. I probably don't know. Yeah, same. <laughs> As your little brother, I probably not. <laughs> if you could avoid telling us, that would be just just great, great. Oh, I can avoid telling us. Anyway, chapter one thousand and seven was a fire chapter. From the the thing with Chopper taking out Queen to the final panel, where we see the man, the myth, the legend, Odin, and what a cliffhanger, yes. man! Oh my this god, this was the controversial thing because we have the scabbards. And now they're healed all of a sudden. Like at one point they were um, completely like crushed. Then uh, they, so they were taken into that chamber by our boy Law. And then Toki obviously showed up and, and helped them. But, uh, you know, we don't know that yet for sure. But I guarantee it. And then they're like wondering, so who helped us? Who healed us? And Odin shows up in himself. Odin. And people are like, what the fuck? And that's how the chapter ends. Like that's the last um, panel. So people are like, is this the real Odin who somehow came from the past or is something else going on? Because Odin is like, oh, you guys, you, you all gotten so old. What's going on? Kind of implying that he's from the past. So, yeah, that was that's how the chapter ended. And I think we had a two week break right between that and, and yeah. 1008. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bro. So that was rough. That was rough. what a wait. What a wait. I remember like when Nux read that, he told Animac to read it, and then Animac told me to read it, and it was just like this whole crazy thing. Yeah, I was in I was I read I read it because Monkey Jones told me to read it. So <laughs> I, I read it. Uh, this is the spoilers, like before the chapter was out. And when I read it, I flipped out because as we know, Odin is top five characters in all of One Piece. So I, I read it. Um, and then I told I was in a call with Animac and Five Up after a rant cafe. And I was like, you guys have to read it. So we all read it together. We all shared an amazing freak out moment while Briggs was in the call, right? I was in the, in the call, call, but I didn't read it. Right. You were in the call, but you didn't read it because you were like two chapters behind. And we're all just yelling and screaming like, what? And Briggs <laughs> is like, tell me. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. And then don't, don't either me. that day or the day after, I I always read the official release, but I this time I did not. I'm like, I just need to read it. I Before I get spoiled, I had... Like, I just have been dealing with spoilers lately. I just need to fucking read this chapter before I get spoiled. Because you guys were flipping out, man. Uh, and but at the same yeah, time, the second I read it, I literally, like, I, it's, it's obviously much, a troll. Man. I literally, yeah, it, yeah, it, 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 didn't, it didn't end up meaning shit. But let's get into that. So it turns out that this Odin was actually a remotely controlled drawing created by Kanjuro. And yes. Ashura figures that this out because they saw Odin die. And they know that Toki's time travel only works forward in time, not backwards. So there's no way that she could have saved him before he died. So, um, so it ends up they end up figuring out that it's actually Conjuro. Now, I think this is a case of the weekly reading the chapters weekly being an issue because yeah. I yeah. would not have minded this uh, reveal as much if I just could, you know, go right next to right to the next chapter and see. I'm like, oh, this is what's going on. But having seen that and having seen that cliffhanger, I was like, yo, he's, he actually brought Odin back. Like, this is crazy. And then I just, I 
I felt like the whole Conjuro thing was just kind of like, um, you know, a troll, like a like a gag, and especially because it wasn't even it like wasn't a bait, fun. like a bait and for no reason. I don't to think be anyone a... likes Kanjiro aside from Gozen. As a villain, I think he's a great villain. So I'm not in really love with don't. Kanjiro, but I am happy that it wasn't Odin. I think if it was Odin, that would be bad writing. This is better so writing I'll than having you, it be a troll. I thought we were going to do a One Piece virgin before, so I didn't tell you my theory. I had a whole different theory as to what was going on, and I'm still, it still might happen. Um, you remember the first part of wano there was that whole weird arc with the fox the bridge yes. the guy was the fox who was the spirit of a shinobi that died yes of a, a spirit of a samurai that died so Sounds long like ago we're talking about naruto here we're at the one piece version and the, and the fox you know what i'm talking about yes yes you know, so i would not be surprised if if odin left his will behind and somehow that fox thing was a foreshadowing of odin's will coming back like if only for a brief moment, and uh, that happening at some point, that I would, would not be, cool. be surprised. But if you were to like I, somehow like save, no, I, I don't Tokyo, expect I him to bullshit. actually be alive. Yeah, I don't yeah. expect him to actually be alive because his his death was so impactful. It was like one of the best moments in yeah. the whole. Series. Like I said, I think no. it would have been bad writing if <laughs> if he was brought back like this. Right. And it's but, much but better the thing to be is, troll by Conjuro. If it was Anna, already, what would you have liked? If it was already that. gonna be done, if this was already gonna be done. So, like, if there was no Odin tease at all, fine. But if he's already going to do the Odin tease, then you got to go all in and just be like, okay, Odin's back, bitches, let's go. Well, no, you don't. No, you because don't. We do no, need, you don't. No, because you don't. we do need someone to help with two emperors. Like, they're, they're too strong. Do you know, he's obviously why, do you say, why do you need people to help? I think that... Uh, you think the current guys can take down the two emperors? I don't bro, think... Bro, gear can. five, bro. I don't, care how, I don't care if it's gear 14, bro. I mean, I'd care. That would be pretty epic. Just skips all these gears. <laughs> Man, don't don't tell me you don't care. But the point is, this did not ruin it, in my opinion. And just because he shows him doesn't mean he has to go with it. Like, pay attention as a reader. What what would you have preferred to happen? So if it's already happening that, that Odin is being teased, I would have liked to see it be the real Odin somehow. And then and explain. But how would that, that be good? I think that no, would be I more, like, it would, how could they it would explain make death much worse. I really like so my idea. Like, my headcanon for it, that it was like a spirit of Odin coming back, like that fox thing. Which, I think that fox part of the arc had potential to be one of the best scenes, but it did nothing. And it was just disappointing because of that. Wano's not over. We're, we're going to see. Also, I know. Gozen, I'm Gozen, sure I do Gozen not want a gear five. I do not want I more the... forms, man. I just fucking I love, I what love do you the mean? How can we? How can we not have like more forms at this point? I'm sure yeah, we'll I get mean. more forms, I even, but I don't... I don't even like gear four. Really? I, I, I don't like that I think gear four I, I'm, not, I, I'm, a, I, I'm a fan. I don't like transformations anymore and like this, these power-ups. Oh, I got another transformation. Now I'm stronger. I much prefer the whole hockey development with like now he could do damage to Kaido with the, uh, the hockey training that he's learned and advancing the things that he already knows. I don't like the whole, oh, now I can go Super Saiyan 7 and beat you because I couldn't do it at 6. Like, come on. Come on, Briggs. How dare you? How dare you, bro? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a shonen thing, right? Like, I don't know if you can escape that because, you know, Naruto does it I, too. One of the things I loved about One Piece was the slow progression of powers. Like, we didn't get to see Gear 2 until, like, 150 chapters or something like that. Like, it's I, still slow. People would complain. It, it's slow, but people would complain that there weren't like these, these power ups that were so like shonen esque, and like that's something I loved about One Piece. And then it really took like what six hundred chapters or to eight hundred chapters for us to even get like Gear Three, um, was it the two different Gear Four things? So I'm not against it. I just think it can't be like every arc, you know. I, I don't think we're gonna get another Gear in this arc. Like if that. I had, to I need get. another two hundred chapters before I see another Gear transformation. So, so Nux, you think that without a new Gear? He's going to be able to beat him without outside help. I think he's going to need outside help. So I don't know why you're saying there won't be outside help. Well, I thought that's what you were telling the Animac. No, there could be outside help. Okay, yeah, that's I mean, my but money. Outside is help. Outside let's help say, too. let's say outside help is uh, Zoro. Okay, does that count as outside help to you? No, no, it, it, no. That's not what I'm counting as outside help because they're all there already. I mean, outside as an, a new appearance. Like uh, Shanks shows up. Like Blackbeard Shanks. Well, I still think that um, the most likely person to kill Kaido is Blackbeard. Um, 
Dude, I've said that. we need black men. Oh I, my I've God. said I've said that so many times, like for a year now. I really uh, doubt. I think they could win the fight, but I really doubt that Big Mom and Kaido are gonna die this arc. There's no chance. No, I don't think. I don't think the, they're both gonna die this arc. I don't think Big Mom is gonna die this arc. I, I honestly I don't, I don't know think if Big Mom gonna is die. gonna die. I don't think Big Mom is gonna die in the whole story. Yeah, but Unle I, and, unless Big Mom like sacrifices herself or something, I don't think she's gonna die. I do yeah, think Blackbeard will show up though. That is my money. And I, I also feel like I think Kaido could die, but I don't think Big Mom would die either. Um, I, I don't wanna... know if Kaido would die. I think Kaido's death will like it'll be a worthless death. Like he'll die after being defeated. He won't die in battle. Um. I just, like I said, I did not like that Odin twist very much, but again, part of it is the two-week waiting period. And I did not like the fact that freaking Orochi is back, bro. Okay, I Obviously. called that. Obviously. And, and I, and I that. think everyone did, Nox, honestly. A lot yeah. of people yeah. call that Physical because zone. of his devil fruit. Yeah, that he can, like, regenerate his head like a he's snake, snake or whatever. Boy. He has but he's heads. more than just a snake. I really, I really hate his character, and I loved how inconsequentially... Kaido just like decapitated him. I thought that was such a fitting end, a pointless end for a stupid ass character. So I liked that aspect of it. So yeah, yeah, it's like why giving a mythical for... zone though? Like you know, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be satisfying if it was. I left mean, that I I don't think he's gonna necessarily do much. I think he might be killed by Momonosuke or something. He set fire to the castle i guess wow he said fire to the castle that's right random house fires have been known to kill one piece characters all too often <laughs> it's interesting though man we're on a flying island i wonder now, if luffy will survive everything is gonna fire. go on fire man if luffy doesn't think fast that fire is gonna get him shit's getting quicker and quicker paced like it, it's gonna be interesting to see where this climax is before this whole thing i was so certain that uh they'd lose in this raid i really don't want him to lose again man I, I i didn't like i didn't like having to I, i'm not saying it's not good for the story but i didn't like having luffy just lose the first time and if he loses again that would be too you much like luffy losing the first time because it's just like he just ran into it i just got bro that's good like he has to lose sometime. i thought that was no, great i think it's good for storytelling just like i'm not like a huge fan of the losses mm. but storytelling wise it's good but then if he loses again, that would be too much for me. Yeah, That's I, I, too I, I much, wouldn't man. Want, I wouldn't want Luffy to lose again. I think the first time they did it really well, where it's like Kaido leaving Luffy alive makes sense because that's who Kaido is. He wants to recruit strong opponents. So that didn't bother me. I like the fact that Luffy was so emotionally like unstable at the moment that he couldn't utilize his hockey properly. And he ran in without a plan, without any support against the Yonko. So he took a quick L. I thought it was like, like the panels were so well done. It was so badass. And uh, yeah, like I have no complaint with the first loss. I do not want a second loss here, though. Yeah, it'll be too much of my. No, it doesn't, I, need, it doesn't I need to be a complete victory. At this they don't, point, Luffy I don't doesn't need to really. kill Kaido and Big Mom. <laughs> Go ahead. No, Sorry. exactly. If if he just like, I mean, if they even get like a draw or something, it'll be huge. Yeah, but what's a draw? Where where does the future go if they get a draw? Yeah, Kaido needs yeah. to be defeated for Wano to prosper, right? And the reason they um, get a drop, Blackbeard comes in, steals his power. <laughs> I, I want to talk about I want to talk about like a Conjuro in, uh, in a bit, but we did get then the reveal of Kaido's uh, hybrid form. Yes, at the end of chapter one thousand and eight. What? Which so looks, many reveals in that which one looks chapter. freaking badass. I have to say, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And we can only assume how strong this form is. And one thing I thought that was interesting. Yamato said that she wishes that she could transform into a monster like her father. And I'm yeah. wondering be that because if she really is his daughter, like biologically and not um, like adopted or something, perhaps because of this whole lineage factor thing, she could end up attaining a monster form that ends up being, you know, that outside force call, if you want to call um, it. No, that puts them over I don't the need a ate a devil fruit so Yam i think they were talking about momo and the fruit that you no I, I know i know that i know that that momo has the devil fruit copy but i'm just wondering if yamato somehow has some hidden ace that she doesn't even know about ace get it get an a. Uh, <laughs> thank you that was thank hilarious you. but um yeah because because i wonder if biology plays some kind of role here because of the whole vegapunk bloodline element 
discussion. I don't know, maybe. I just think that I like the parallel between Yamato and Odin. Like, Odin didn't have a fruit, you know? Yeah, there's that. Um, and yeah, it would be weird if, like, we got a third dragon to show up, you know? Yeah. So far, I have to say, though, I really do like Yamato as a character. I think she added so much spice to this arc. Yeah, again, and, like, spice physically, but also, yeah, Thank with their interaction. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently, Yamato has already been shown to partially transform, I guess, with, like, her horns and her teeth Yeah, and stuff. We, did see, we did see something, but it was too vague True. to really, like, yeah. cool. get a sense of it. Momo defeats Kaido by turning into a huge dragon and going Super yeah. Saiyan 4. Yeah, that would be I do disgusting. think Momo will have something. I I thought he would beat Orochi like all the way back in the beginning. So it's not it's not something too crazy power wise, but it's also something, you know, fulfilling. Yeah, yeah that would be cool actually. Like I, I could get behind that, but like him helping against Kaido, I don't know. Eh, yeah, so totally. far so far uh, Momo has been very inconsequential. Like the only his only importance really is the fact that he is the son of Odin. And so therefore the heir to, you know, the Kozuki clan. But I do want to see him actually do something that, you know, makes his own stamp on the story. Mm -hmm. It's true that he's just eight years old, but because he's being focused on, I, I want to see him do something. Even Dude, though he he's got a, a lot of courage for an eight year old. Honestly. And he's did, I, he, he has, did a lot he of has cool impressed things. me. I like Momo. Yeah, me Absolutely. too. Yeah. Like way more, he's done way more than you should he does, expect. He's done of just as much as the, as the scabbards, bro. Come on, <laughs> dude. I, I still hate the scabbards. Which they've done nothing. So, no. <laughs> uh. dude, I hate the scabbard so much. I feel like it's like an Oda's just wanting to reference, you know, Japanese movies, Japanese uh, pop culture, and like history of japan within the story but yeah i can't compare like my like of the worst generation to the red scabbards right oh the scabbards pain they're so bad okay so people are there are people who are saying that the the momo was the one who said he wants to turn into a monster not yamato but it's not clear because if you look at the panel the bubble before that is coming from Yamato, clearly. And then there's two other bubbles that are um, connected to that bubble, but there is a line between them. So it might be indicating that it's coming from Momo. Momo. So like, Because Yamato says, my father. And then Momo, I assume that she was talking about, because obviously she's talking about Kaido. So I thought she was talking about, I want to be like my father. But um, Momo saying... Momo might be saying, I want to be like your father in the sense that I want to be able to turn into a monster too. And I, that, I think that's what ended up happening. So that is a correction on my part there, even though it's a bit unclear because I thought that was like all one speech bubble area coming from Yamato. The speech yeah. bubble of doom. Doobell says, I think Momo will use the cloud ability to stop Onigashima from destruction. So, I mean, there's that possibility. Yeah. That's a way where he helps out in a big way without having to, like, kick up Yonko's ass. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I do think he will help in a way that is not going to be like, oh, I'm going to beat Kaido. Yeah, you, you can't steal this too much from Luffy, right? Because it is an important step for him along the Pirate King uh, journey. So we're going to have to see, like, a significant Luffy versus Kaido moment. Where Luffy, like, does something crazy. Oh, Luffy. But, yeah, I, I do think what Briggs said was true. Like, the slowness of the development in One Piece and how it's still interesting is, like, one of its biggest strengths. Or, yeah. uh, Du Perko in the chat says, uh, do you think Ashra Doji died? And So, basically, what happened, we didn't mention this, but that fake Odin was strapped with, like, a explosives... And the goal was to take out the scabbards by making them think, oh, it's Odin. They get close to him and he blows them all up. But Ashura ended up, uh, in order for the other scabbards to escape, he ended up kind of sacrificing himself and pushing um, the fake Odin out, out of the room or to the other part of the room. And then the explosion went off. 
leading us to think that Ashura could be dead. I mean, it's One Piece, so probably not. But yeah, you that's can't what they wanted us to believe dead, for sure. Because yeah, yeah there's also, so many. Moments. I would not complain if like all the scabbards die <laughs> to complete no, I their know. goal. I know you so, would. Like throughout <laughs> the throughout the next like few chapters, Lux. every chapter we lose oh, another scabbard. God. It's like, oh my god, someone with a bow! And then, like, one of the scabbards jumps in the way, with gets shot in the chest. <laughs> Everyone else is, like, crying. Nux is like, Did you on yes. without me? Yeah. <laughs> Another know? one. Yes. Yeah. Um, Nux Dude, thought that... Kyoguro the flower dying, was bro. so much better of a character than every single scabbard. Kyoguro I mean, the flower turning into his ice demon, fighting all the people, saying that, okay, I'm going to unleash this attack, but it'll use so much energy, I'll turn into a demon. So the second I finish this attack, cut my head off. Right? Yes, yeah. I did like he him. Was that He's very cool. cool. He is very that cool. was so badass. Like, even the bad guys were like, oh my god, I should have... Oh my god, Kyoguro. He's so and bad. he had the undying love of his men compared to Queen, who just, everyone hated him. Yeah, that was I, such a good scene. And then you have the scabbards. No, but I there are some scabbards that I really like, such as yeah. Denjiro. Ah, and Ashura is cool as well. And yeah, Denjiro uh, is probably my favorite scabbard. I, Kawamatsu is cool. Uh, the other guys, yeah, I don't care about so much. And yeah, I, I know Kinemon for you. <laughs> Dude, I hate Kinemon. So like Nox wanted Kinemon to be dead so many times by now. Dude, I was praying for this man's demise for so long. I mean, it might happen because Zoro carried on his his sword style in a way. So, oh, it'll yeah. happen. It'll yeah. happen. Hopefully soon, and hopefully all of them will die. Except Denjiro. Nux is a very weird, uh, <laughs> a weird person to talk about this because I don't think anyone else is like thinking the same stuff. Well, Conjuro will definitely die. Let's um, go. I like the way you said I mean, that. if Contra never died, like, that would be weird. Like, don't even, you know, he, don't he's even definitely going to die, but the question like is, will someone else die in the process of taking him down or something? You know, Dude, it's like, it all die was like well, I love, I love good drama, and nothing's better than a good twist, and then he's back onto the good side or something. <laughs> no, yeah. that will not happen. That Shut would be up. so bad. <laughs> yeah, so but let's Kondro. talk about why, let's talk about why I don't like Kondro. Because, like I said, Golden actually thinks he's a good villain. And see, the thing is, he said he'll die. By the way, anyways, even if they don't kill him, it's only a matter of time. So just want. It's to say funny that. because I ended up tweeting about. I can't believe my everyone own dies in a matter of time. Goes in. Yeah, <laughs> but like a more, more quick. So yeah, his, yeah apparently yeah, his yeah, wounds yeah. are fatal, and uh, he's just trying to yeah, kill Momo yeah, and yeah. some of the some of the scabbard before he goes out. I ended up uh, tweeting. I can't believe my own brother thinks Kondro is a good villain. And there was like one guy's like, bro, spoilers. What the fuck? And I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. Because like, I was like, what are you talking about? Like, we know. No, no, no. Spoilers for the anime. Yeah, but, then, but then I realized that I, I don't watch the anime. So I didn't realize that the anime wasn't even that far. So that was. Uh, so it's not? No, it's not that far. Oh, wow. So, yeah, the yeah, anime time, version. Bro. Anime Virgin spoiling people for One Piece. I mean, uh, One Piece Virgin. Anyway, I deleted the tweet. Yes. Because I forgot about... Uh, I didn't realize that the end that was That there. was a big oops. Still not even close to what I got spoiled on for Attack on Titan. So, but, yeah. Still, the point is... Dude, it's pathetic because he's... Okay, it goes in. Why do you like him as a villain? Like, so let me say why I don't like him. I don't like because... I'd rather I'm goes in just... start because I know on. why I don't like him. Hold on. Okay, yeah, goes in. Sure, sure. It's better right. than he says. So I will say... Um, I definitely felt the need to defend him after Animac was shitting on it. Um, I I like the story. I like his backstory. I like the idea of him acting his whole life and it being a performance. And I like the twist that we got when we figured out like the truth and that he could actually draw well. And this was all like uh, phony disguise and stuff, so that they wouldn't suspect him. I thought it was very interesting, and yeah, I don't see what's not to like. So what I don't like is his motivations, <clears throat> and I realize oh, that his motivation is, <clears throat> excuse me, I realize that his whole motivation thing is that his ar from a rival clan, his clan was wronged, so now even though it wasn't necessarily Odin who wronged him, he wants to destroy the Kozuki clan. If you look at this from the perspective like, you know, ancient Japanese clan culture or whatever, it can make sense. But with the part that I don't like is that he pledges his royalty to Orochi, who is a total piece of garbage, who completely goes against 
the samurai code of honor, which is another you know thing in traditional Japan that would be highly yeah, honored. He doesn't need to care about that though. But what? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually with. I don't. I dislike him for different reasons. <laughs> He's a villain. Like you know, you don't. No, but you have to look at a villain. Like, like, are you serious? Are you serious? He's a villain, so he doesn't need realistic motivations. He doesn't like, need. That's not what he said. Need good, he doesn't need good guy morals. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm saying his whole thing is I want to avenge my clan, which is part of like a samurai code of Isn't honor. His, but dude, the I'm guy, sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait a second. Isn't his clan the 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 clan that uh, Yam? Uh, What's his face is from the bad dude, Yes, they're the same. They're the they're same. the same clan, Animac. Yeah, but what? Look at what Orochi did to all of Wano. He's destroyed Wano. He's look he, at what they did to Kanjiro's about... parents, bro. All right, he's I'm, destroyed I'm not, all I'm totally of Wano, you. Kanjiro's own country. Oh he's. Dude, am I seriously out here defending the worst yeah. villain in One Piece? <laughs> God damn it, anime! Not, Look what you did. You, you have the choice of just not talking, bro. Like it's no, but amazing I rather, how you uh, could just not yeah, talk and let no, other no, people. No, no, I, I don't know about that. That's the technique that is yet to be revealed. The to point me. is, I don't understand. Even if you are upset about the clan thing, th supporting someone who's destroying your entire country and breaking the samurai code of honor severely and essentially reducing your countrymen to slaves. It just doesn't drive with me. Some it, people are Avengers, and that country is the same country that discriminated and did awful things, atrocities against their people, their family, their closest ones. So he doesn't view it as like, this is my country. He views it, this is a country that hates me and my people. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't get that aspect of it. I'm what goes in. The reason why I didn't like him is because when, when you're going to have a twist villain, there needs to be foreshadowing. Like, this guy's been around forever. And all of a sudden, haha, he was bad all along. Like, what? Yeah, I mean, but him, when you look back having, at it, it doesn't him, it make the him most being sense. Bad him being came bad completely at drawing out of is kind of foreshadowing. No, how is that foreshadowing? I mean, he had the power that it revolved around being an artist and he didn't learn how to draw. And there were scenes. If Why you weren't attention. there scenes? That there were yet. some, like, like when the, yeah. he sent like birds flying kind of thing and it could be messengers to uh, Orochi. There were like little moments, and if you think about it logically, it makes sense looking back that it would be him. I don't see it. I'm sorry. I don't see it as making That's sense. That's fine being, because I think scenes. I think one of the things Oda doesn't want to do is give too many, and then everyone yeah, figures. Yeah. By the way, the right? birds were very well drawn. Yes. Meanwhile, everything else was bad. Right. No, I, I I got that, but still, at the same time, I just think that. He's oh, Seaprod says he ate with his right hand but drew with his left knucks. Yo, that's so cool! Oda's amazing! Sorry. See? Then, then we no, get oh, knucks awesome. to flip? Dude, no, like, <laughs> I, 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 I think that... No, I, I still don't think he's a good villain. I, I'm sorry. No, I, think the, okay. I think the twist and the reveal convince. was good. I just don't think he's a great villain. Yeah, I, I, I don't care enough to convince people that he's a like a great villain. I just think that Animac was over-hating him, and I wanted to like defend... Oh, does the decision. The thing is, I do care. think it was obvious that there was a traitor, and like the fact that they didn't figure this out that it was Kondro just says everything about how much the scabbards suck because they I knew think, that, I, I, they, yeah, they yeah. knew that the information that was being leaked could only have come from one of them, and because they liked each other so much as friends, they wouldn't didn't want to suspect each other, and that's so stupid. Like, you have to be smarter than that. Kingdom yeah, but like, not you. everyone is you, man. Like, I think you're it was pretty dumb. I think it was pretty dumb as well, guys. Like, no offense, I, I love you three, but if there was fine. a traitor among us, I would try to fucking find out. No, it's fine. Obviously. But I just think sometimes there are characters who aren't like that analytical, cold thinking type, like Light Yagami. And like, but there's, you know, there's eight of them aside from Kondro, and none of them figured it out or figured anything out or tried to. <laughs> Sad. I still think Conjuro's reveal and of him being a villain was a good twist. And oh yeah, like the thunder and like the lightning and yeah, like his and face. It was, it was definitely was... okay. Now, that, I think that's that was because it was like funny. What? It was funny. Like I thought it was a funny reveal, like thought, making I... it over dramatized and yes. stuff. I thought that was just. Funny. I thought it was a good reveal. Um, although him as a villain now, I must say I cared so little about, about your conversation that I don't remember or was I listening to your points at all. But I think right now he's kind of meh. I think he's garbage. Like anything he's after just... the everything after the reveal, like I just don't care. Yeah, and that is why the whole Denjiro's, Odin... twist, Denjiro's twist was really cool. Yes, I agree. Denjiro... I saw that I saw that one coming because it was foreshadowed with him saving Hiori, right? 
Yeah. But the thing is with Conjuro is that that's why I, I didn't like that Odin twist that much because it's it was so cheapened. Like the greatness of Odin was cheapened by the fact that it was just like a Conjuro thing. But do you like realize Conjuro. do you realize that that's the way they felt too? Like you're yes. feeling what the characters are feeling. Like that's not yeah, a but bad they're thing. That, they're characters that I don't care about. No, I do hope someone butchers Conjuro soon. Like and really... Kinemon and the rest of the And characters. Kinemon! Let's go! I think they just all do a sacrifice themselves to like block one of Kaido's attacks to save Luffy and then like yeah, wow, all that was more than they've done the entire time. Down. Dude, preach. Preach. <laughs> uh, good episode, boys. Yeah. Anything else we need to discuss, Animac? No, Mark, I'm looking I, forward I thought to Marco, what was cool. next. Marco was I, cool. Marco was I still think that yeah, Marco was great. I uh, I think King is gonna do more. King has been kind of uh, yeah, King sidelined has done nothing. lately. He has to do I think he has to do more. And I really want to see, you know, who healed the scabbards. And I, I feel like it's definitely Toki. Yeah, so I want to see that explained. Well. I, I think see that that's explained. why you believe that it might actually be Odin. is because you're so confident that it's Toki. So you have that. Exactly. Exactly. So I thought it was some Toki-related thing. I just really Odin. didn't want Odin to be revived. His death was amazing. It was, but he's such a cool character. Don't you want to see more of him? I'm I'm satisfied. Yeah, I'm I'm with Briggs. I don't want him to come back. I do hope that there that fox spirit thing happens or gets explained or becomes relevant. That'd be dope. I'm enjoying the journey. Just want to add that up. <laughs> I'm also enjoying the journey. I don't know. I I have mixed feelings with Wano. I'll to be honest. I like, like I know Wano. a lot of I like Wano. No, I'm <laughs> loving Wano. But when I say mixed <laughs> feelings, I mean. A lot of people say that Wano is the best, uh, like the it's best too arc. It's too soon. It's too soon. People to say, say that about most arcs while they're happening. Like, they're, yeah, no, on and off. Actually, this, I lied. That's not true at all. When Dress Rosa was so long, everyone hated it, but it's actually a good arc. Um, the I legend says Rosa. that Conjuro also didn't have a bounty in Dress Rosa. So that, like, there were clues like that for sure. Um, yeah, so far, I don't think Wano is my favorite arc for sure. I, you know, yeah, like, definitely not. But maybe it will be by the end of it. I kind of doubt it because I like, I feel like Dressrosa and a lot of the other arcs were more. Dude, personal. Paramount War, bro. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Dude, it really uh, depends because, I mean, for example, the end, I think there's going to be some type of other power coming at play, whether it's the Marines, whether it's Blackbeard or Shang. Something's going to happen that could really just twist this entire arc. So we can't, like, we can't talk about how good it is yet without, like, what could be the ending. Yeah. You know? After it's done. And then go full throttle and be like, yo, it sucks. Yo, it's great. Yo, it's, you know, whatever. I agree. So far, though, yeah. I'm enjoying the ride. Yeah, like, I, I don't know if this is a hot take, but I kind of like the uh, cake arc more than this one still. Oh, so far, same here. I like whole cake better. Oh, okay, cool. Dude, what do you guys think about Perro Sparrow? What's he gonna I love Perro Sparrow. I don't give a shit about Perro I love Perro Sparrow. Dude, what do you mean? He's a Yako commander who could be... In he's not a commander, with Marco. He, but I love uh, Paris Bear. I think he's a, he's great. I, I don't think... care about him. He's he has he's just too eccentric with the whole. Like I, I I don't like characters like that. They're too annoying. I, I think I weird, think it's different interesting. Taste in and I'm really people. hyped up at a possible uh, union team up between him and Marco. Like, well, I can't see Marco becoming like an actual enemy. No, as in Perro Sparrow helping him out to get rid of... Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I could see Perro Sparrow just... Because he wants Big Mom on top, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that sounds so weird, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> How who, is that weird? Who it's, doesn't it's... want Big Mom on top, bro? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I would like to see like a Katakuri team up with, with the Straw Hats or something, but I don't really care for Perro I Sparrow. like Perro Sparrow, and I, w I, I wouldn't like want it to be like... I don't know, that would be overkill a bit if it was Katakuri right now. Yeah, Kar yeah. I, Katakuri's not around. I know, I wish instead of Perispero, Katakuri was in the mix, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but alas, it is not meant to be. Oh, I would like to see another interaction between Katakuri and Luffy. It'll happen. I, I respect all the people who think NL is still coming. <laughs> 
he's coming from the moon. He's gonna smite down Kaido and save the day. Dude, bro. who do you think saved the scabbards? <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny if, like, NL just, like, is monitoring everything and then just, like, does the randomest shit in every arc. Like, with characters he doesn't even know, just to confuse everyone. <laughs> Dude, what, what, was, what was that Stephen King novel that you were reading? The Stand? Right, right The Stand. It was really NL, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, um, what's it called? Well, in One Piece, I feel like every character comes back, you know? So I feel like NL has to come back. He can't be, like, there's no way they would do, like, the side... Um, with like all the little cover stories with Anel and, and not make him somehow come back. No, yeah, we'll for sure, that. come back. This yeah, no question about it. All right, yeah, good episode, guys. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, live in the chat on Twitch, and of course, for those of you listening to the podcast, thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to follow Rank Cafe on Spotify for free. Gozen, Nux, and Briggs, pleasure Nux as always. Briggs! Had fun. Conjuro. Nux and Briggs! Boy. Conjuro oh, stands. <laughs> Conjuro, best boy Conjuro. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll be back again when we have a few chapters to discuss. Until then, obviously, every week you can catch the Naruto version. We just finished the Chunin exams and we're moving no, into the next arc, started. which I forget the name. Well, we're still in the Chunin exams. What? I thought we finished well, the Chunin exams. We so did it did say it did say that the Chunin exams come to an end in like the chapter, but technically the the organization might still consider this part of the tuning arc. Okay. All right. Well, either way, it's hype. Naruto is really good right now. So check that out. And until next time, see you, Space Cowboys. Bang.